guys welcome back to my channel so once again it's been a while since i last posted but i'm here with a really quick video um i think it'll be easier for me to do like quick videos rather than overthinking it to make sure that it's pretty long i think i get caught up on the idea that i have to do videos a certain way and um i forget that i can switch it up sometimes so i think if i do like little short tutorial videos here and there I think that would be like really simple for me to follow but anyways uh, moving on in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove the background from any photo now I'm going to be using my iPad Photoshop I think I already did a video on how to remove the background on the actual desktop Photoshop version. Um, but if you guys want me to make another video on that, let me know in the comments. It's quite simple. Honestly, my opinion, it took me a while to learn the iPad Photoshop because it's, I'm not used to where everything is at. And everything's a lot more compacted and you have to like go into folders in order to get to what you're looking for. So it's like kind of, kind of like a maze you know for me but i'm learning my way around it so it's getting a little bit easier but uh yes yeah, so we're gonna be doing i'm gonna show you how to remove the background from any photo okay enough rambling this tool right here this is the lasso tool which you can do in order to get to all of like the background deleting uh tools all you have to do is hold it down and it says selection tools and you have basically all the selection tool background deleting tools that are on the desktop version it's literally on the tablet technology is crazy but yes so you're going to select um quick selection so let me show you guys all you have to do is just go over it like as if you were on your computer your laptop whatever and um you know how you use your mouse. You're just going to use your finger the exact same way. Just like this. And if you want, you can come over here to these tools over here. And this bottom one with the circle, that is your hardness. And then the number above it, you can tap that and it changes the size of your brush. And you can just move it up and down however you want it to be. The one above it is if you're selecting your your object all you have to do is click that and then you are going it's basically going to just erase your selection so you can go over it again fix any mistakes that you have made the one above that it's basically adding on you're brushing more of the selection tool around your object so yeah you're going to use that double one at the top and then you know you can move around your picture and just basically, if you like I said, you can change the brush size to have you, however you need it. And then just go over it, like mine right now, for this little area is way too big. So I'm gonna take it down a little bit, and then that should do the trick. Oh yeah, see, much better. Remember guys, don't let the iPad version of Photoshop disencourage you and intimidate you like it did from I thought I was never gonna learn this but I'm learning it you know it's, it's cool to learn something that you don't know someone really really close to me always says we are in the age of information use it while you can and it's always good to fill your brain with knowledge all the time because that knowledge one day could it could save you it could save your life like he always says to me always learn something new so we're just gonna continue and honestly i'm just doing a rough one that you know you guys get the gist of how to cover your edges and stuff so yeah you just this tool it's super simple using it just like the desktop and you're basically just selecting your, your object. Okay, so now it looks something like this. Like I said, it's pretty rough, but it'll get the job done. 
Oh, and guys, a little tip, something I've learned along the way of Photoshop is that you want to make sure that you invert your photo um, before you cut out your background because you could be cutting out your subject instead. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to come down here, press erase, and as you can see, it deleted and cut out my subject. So in order to prevent that, you're going to press invert. And it, as you can see, it's got these little lines on the border of it. That means it's going to get the background instead of your subject. So erase and then boom. Easy, right? You see, you learned something new. That is, that is how you delete a background, take off a background, erase a background, however you want to say it. So I hope this video helps. Thank you guys so much for your support and sticking around still, even after I like got really sucky at posting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!